Legacy Recordings Week in Music, July 15th through July 21st. July 15th, 1967, the Jefferson Airplane, along with the Doors, play an afternoon and evening show to over 8,000 fans at Anaheim Convention Center, Anaheim, California. July 16, 1900, his master's voice, the logo of the Victor Recording Company, later RCA Victor, was registered with the U.S. Patent Office. The logo shows Nipper the dog looking into the horn of a gramophone. July 17, 1997, during the History Tour, Michael Jackson appeared at Wembley Stadium, London. The tour included a total of 82 concerts and was attended by approximately 4.5 million fans. July 18, 1953, six weeks out of Humes High School and working for the Parker Machinist Shop, Elvis Presley made his first ever recording when he paid $3.98 at the Memphis Recording Service, singing two songs, My Happiness and That's When Your Heartaches Begin as a gift for his mother. July 19, 1981. It was Roy Orbison Day in Odessa, Texas. Orbison was given the keys to the city and performed for the first time in Odessa in 15 years. July 20, 1940. Billboard's first music popularity chart was published. The magazine had previously published bestseller lists submitted by the individual record companies, but the new chart combined the top sellers from all major labels. Their first number one song was I'll Never Smile Again by Frank Sinatra and the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. July 21st, 1967. The Jimi Hendrix Experience perform on the first of three nights at the Cafe Agogo in New York City. Richie Havens opened the show. Eric Clapton showed up and jammed with the experience. Everybody wanted to stand next to Jimmy's fire.